can you still get into medical school with bad grades? That is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now, this is something that I can personally relate to because even though I have always wanted to be a doctor, I didn't get the grades that I needed at A-level. I studied Spanish, biology and maths at A-level in the UK and my grades were ABB respectively, which did not meet the entry requirements for undergraduate medicine here. So I decided to do biomedical science as my undergraduate degree instead. I remember being so disheartened, so, so sad and upset that I didn't apply to medical school because I couldn't because of my grades. And I genuinely thought I would never make it. I thought I'm never gonna become a doctor. It's just never gonna happen. But that was very far from the truth. And I'm now a third year graduate entry medical student at Warwick. I've got just over a year to go until I graduate and I'll be Dr. Daniela. Now, if you are in a similar position, if you didn't get the grades that you needed at GCSE or at A-level, then there are many things that you can consider so that you can make your dream of becoming a doctor a reality. The very first step that I would recommend is to self-reflect. This is so important because it's going to allow you to figure out what went wrong, where, how, these are all such important questions for you to ask yourself. I would take a look at your academic history and try to find out exactly where you struggled and what went wrong. Was it a particular subject or a period of time where you just went well? Did you have other things happening that impacted your grades? What exactly was it that happened? And is there any way that maybe in the future that could change? Understanding your weaknesses is crucial so that you can develop a plan to overcome them and be better next time. It is often difficult to find out what those weaknesses are because being honest with yourself is a really difficult thing. So if you're struggling trying to figure out what went wrong, then speak to your family or your friends or your teachers because they might be able to help. Once you have found out what went wrong, you then need to work on strengthening your application and strengthening those weaknesses for next time. If your grades really aren't that bad and you still are going to apply to medical school, then that's great. But I would focus on strengthening other areas of your application. So you need to figure out which areas are your strongest. Maybe you wrote an amazing personal statement or maybe you have loads of really valuable work experience. You could capitalize on those things and try to Make them stand out so that when admissions teams look at your application, they are wowed by what they see. That is going to be particularly helpful for students who maybe meet the entry requirements for university, but maybe your grades aren't the absolute best of the best. So definitely something to consider. Something else that you could do is consider retaking an exam or even taking a foundation year. Retaking an exam often takes you less amount of time than choosing a different route into medicine, for example. Some universities also offer foundation years on their programs to help students bridge the gap between their current qualifications and medical school entry requirements. Often the foundation program is just one extra year. So this is definitely something that you could consider as well. I would also seek guidance and support. And this is super key because it's other people who can often advise you and point you in the right direction so that you increase your chances of getting into medical school. Don't hesitate to ask for advice from your teachers, from your mentors, from academic advisors, or you could check out FutureDoc if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring so that we can help get you from wherever you are right now into your dream medical school. Seeking support from the right people is crucial so that you can get specific and valuable insights into your situation and what you can do next. If all else fails and a traditional route into medicine just isn't the right thing for you, then all hope is not lost. Trust me, I have been there. I genuinely thought there was no way I was going to become a doctor and here I am. So if it's possible for me, it is possible for you. Although if your heart isn't set on medicine specifically, then you could consider other healthcare options. You could work as a nurse or a physician's associate, for example, where you'll still be providing healthcare to patients and you'll be helping people. But if you are absolutely set on medicine, then you could apply to graduate entry medicine later down the line like I did. 
I would choose another science or medical related degree that might then open the door for graduate entry medicine at a later date. If you are going down this route though, make sure that you are aware of the time commitment because an undergraduate degree will take you some time. And then also consider the fact that graduate entry medicine can be a little bit more competitive. However, it is not impossible. And if you're set on medicine, then as I say, it is possible. If you would like to hear more about my personal story into medical school, then leave me some comments below. Otherwise, check out these videos for more information about how FutureDoc can help get you into your dream medical school. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.